What's up, guys? It's your boy Ty, and I'm back with another Fi Fine review. And tonight is the Amplitank Fi Fine SC1. This is Fi Fine's recording audio interface. All right, and this one was sent to me by Fi Fine, but I'm not paid for it, so of course I'm gonna give you my honest opinion. Let's get into it. So on the box, of course, it says um, sound quality improvements, and this is for XLR devices. So like microphones, like the Fafine AM8 that needs XLR, you know, some type of interface so you can hook this to your phone, so you can hook it to your computer or speakers. A lot of people use it for speakers if they, you know, do things live and things like that. So you will need some type of interface. And this Amplitank is a quality interface and it keeps it so simple. That's why I kind of like this too. So in the box, of course, the first thing you get is always the user manual. Then the packaging is legit. In the inside, you take this little foam off. You have a cable and this is for USB A to USB C you know a fine cable you always need that and this is the device this is the device Let's see the size of my hand about the size of a hand you know if it's in the palm of your hand this is device um, it's made out of plastic it's made out of plastic and yeah pretty simple pretty simple so it is noted that you don't have an xlr cable with this you know interface so you would have to get an xlr cable so make sure you order that too if you are you know using this mic for like a fine microphone and i don't think the am8 yeah it didn't come with an xlr cable so if you buy an interface like this and the fine am8 you'll still need to go and buy yourself an xlr cable all right they come with the usb cable and you can connect this to this with usb no problem but all interfaces are mainly for that phantom power and you get that with the xlr and for anybody that doesn't know, that phantom power really just gives your microphone extra gain. It allows you to go a bit further and sometimes even sound clearer with a, a bit more gain. So is an example of that is if I had this on USB mode and I cut it all the way up to the max setting, I still would have to be kind of close to the mic. When I turn it on to phantom power, which I am hooked up to right now, I have an XLR cable hooked up to it and I got it plugged up to my Zoom Pod Track P4. I usually use that. I can cut it up all the way and I can come back a lot further and you still can hear me pretty clear and I don't even have it cut up all the way. So those are some of the perks with that phantom power. You know, if you want your microphone to be out of shot or you want to you just pick up a little more crisp of a sound. So that phantom power, you can't tell the difference. You can. So let's talk about what we have on the interface before we plug this bad boy up. Right here is where you plug your XLR microphone up right here and right here is where your instrument will go you can plug that up and right here these two buttons toggle between you can put push both of them in and then you will be live on both instrument and microphone or you can just put one and then right here of course is your spot for your monitoring and you know you plug your headphones up there and you can cut that gain up and down right here and at the end is just a simple power slot and then on the front of it the other side is a port for right and left that is where you would you know have your outputs if you want to plug this up to a speaker so this 
is great for the artist that you know wants to play an instrument and sing or do whatever they do you know um this is great for this and i like it because it's so simple so simple you don't have a lot of the other bells and whistles that some things some um interfaces come with like the other interface from Fafai, it glows and comes with a lot of bells and whistles. This is pretty simple. Now, let's go plug it up. Okay, now I'm plugged up with the Fafai SC1. And now whenever I talk, you guys can see it starts to glow. That means I'm, that's the line that I'm on. And I have it cut all the way up. One thing that I'm not able to do unfortunately i'm not able to listen to myself through this device and that's simply because um the monitoring headphone jack is one of those bigger headphone jacks so the one i use typically is the one that you would plug into your phone the one you would plug into your laptop things like that the smaller one but this requires you to have one that's a little bit bigger so with that being said I guess this is definitely for, you know, people that have instruments and people that have the right type of headphones. So just note, if you are planning on using this as your interface and you typically, you know, do things with the laptop or your phone and you have headphones like these regular headphones, you need one that has a bigger jack to go into this device all right i just found that out but this is how it sounds all right so pretty simple and again the device is simply just to you know have that xlr phantom power plugged up you can plug it up to your computer plug it up to speakers whatever you need all right now let me give you all my final thoughts so the Amplitank Fifine SC1. If you are an artist and play instruments and things like that, this device would be perfect for you. If you are a gamer, you might want to consider the SC3. And I did a review on that also. And it's just because this is a little limited. And I say that because, um, like I said, I couldn't plug my regular headphone jack into this. Of course, if you play instruments and things like that, that's probably no problem for you. You can connect right to this. Um, you probably would want to have some type of extra amp or something if you're using this you know maybe with your speakers or something like that but um this when i plugged it up and i was listening to it because it only has one outlet right here for connecting to a device or a power source the audio from my microphone even though it was on phantom power it sounded a bit weak especially when i compared it to my um zoom pod track and even to the sc3 you know the upgraded one of these that has rbg which is a gaming audio interface you know that had a little bit more power and again that's just my thoughts these will be perfect for those who play instruments and things like that if you plan on doing podcasts or if you plan on using it as an interface for your laptop as a gamer this one you might want to skip this one and go ahead and get the sc3 that's for gaming all right, so if I find has one for gaming, and I'm pretty sure that's why they made that one. And they have one for the artists. So this is my thoughts. I appreciate y'all checking me out. Peace.